Myself, I've grown a YouTube channel out of the belief that you can aim high and achieve an A in your course, whereas other tutors believe that that is a lofty goal, too lofty to be worth your while. Are Celta tutors always right? And do they always agree with each other? Some tutors want you to lower your TTT, whereas others want you to elicit and concept check more. Often these two things can happen on the same course. I've grown a YouTube channel out of the belief that trainees can achieve high and get an A in their course, whereas there are other tutors who believe that this goal is too lofty and somewhat of a distraction and you should just focus on passing the course. There are tutors who say that the idea of learning styles is outdated and somewhat irrelevant. Whereas we continue to teach this on the SALTA course. There are tutors and indeed teachers out there who say that diversity is about race and culture and gender and all of these things. Whereas there are those of us who I would say are properly trained who would say that diversity is not about any of those things. Those things are completely irrelevant. Diversity is about having a diversity of things that you teach in your class. You don't only teach reading lessons. You teach reading and listening lessons, writing and speaking, vocabulary, voc grammar, functional language, pronunciation. You don't stay on one track all of the time. There are teachers out there who believe that inclusion is a social justice campaign, where once again, I would say that, that those of us who are properly focused on our job would say that inclusion is an appropriate word, but not for those ends, but rather inclusion is about making sure that all of your students in your class are included in the lesson, that you don't just, as us tutors often said, that you don't only fly with the fastest that if you have a weaker student in your lesson, you find ways of bringing those students in. Often we give the advice of pairing a stronger student with a weaker student, but sometimes it could be appropriate even to pair the stronger with the stronger and the weaker with the weaker or uh, a variety in there. So then what is it that unifies us? How can tutors who have these differing opinions and differing points of view and differing feedback, how can it be that we can be unified and deliver a course which is the same across the world, uh, which achieves the same standard of teacher, which achieves the same standard in teaching itself? Well, there's a syllabus and I've created a whole series of videos on how to get an A, which is based around this syllabus. So I strongly advise you to go and check out uh, those series of videos if you haven't done so already. But this syllabus, it's an objective standard. It's not my opinion or the next tutor's opinion. It's an objective standard uh, brought to us uh, from academics and ultimately de delivered by Cambridge itself. It's a standard that us tutors need to be able to defend. And who do we have to defend it to? Well, we have to defend it amongst ourselves. I need to be able to tell my uh, co-tutor why I give this grade or that grade, and they need to be able to see why in light of the context of the syllabus. We also need to be able to defend it to our trainees. We need to be able to defend it to an external moderator or auditor called the assessor who comes uh, from Cambridge themselves. We need to be able to say, I give this trainee this grade or that grade because of these criteria in the syllabus. Now, some of you may ask, to what extent is this audit useful? Well, is it external? Yes, it is. It's the assessor is not part of the course. They're sent by Cambridge. But is it independent? Well, as I said, it's, it's from Cambridge. So no, it's not an independent audit. But it does maintain quality and standards. Because after all, the third question, is there accountability? Well, yes, there is. If I can't defend those grades, well, then my assessor can step in and intervene. So here's my advice in light of all of this. The first thing that you should do is familiarize yourself with the syllabus. You can find the syllabus on online, or if you're on a course already, you'll be given a, a blue book called the CELTA 5, or sometimes just referred to as the blue book. And in that book, you'll find the syllabus itself. You'll find all of the criteria that have been organized in the CELTA 5 itself and read through those and familiarize yourself with them. If any of your feedback from your tutor is unclear to you or you can't really get your head around it, well, ask your tutor which criteria is their feedback referring to and ask them how they can help you to better achieve your aim of becoming a teacher in the context of those criteria. 
your tutors will have an answer to this because once again, this is the thing that we're all trained on. We're all trained on how to deliver the course in the context of the syllabus, the SALTA syllabus itself to help our trainees achieve those criteria. So let me know, what do you think? Have you ever found it hard to interpret your tutor's feedback? Have you ever been confused and feel like your two tutors are saying somewhat conflicting things? Let me know in the comments below. And let me know in the comments below, what do you think about my point of view on diversity and inclusion? There are those, as I say, who say it's all about race and gender and including people from different backgrounds, etc. Or are you like me and do you think that that's political and that's social justice, whereas that's not our job as teachers. Our job is to make sure that we have a diversity of lesson types, that we teach grammar, vocabulary, reading, writing, speaking, listening, functional language and pronunciation. Do you think that inclusion is about people and their background and what they look like? Or do you think that inclusion is about your students and their abilities and what you can do as a teacher to make sure that they are learning? After all, that's what they've come to you to achieve. Let me know in the comments what you think, believe, what are your opinions on those things. And please, as always, hit that like, share, subscribe button. I'd really appreciate if you could share this with any of your colleagues on your social media. It really helps my uh, channel to grow, to get the conversation going and to really, you know, promote that learning amongst us all. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. If you need extra help with your CELTA course, or if you're preparing for a language exam such as IELTS or the Cambridge Advanced or the Cambridge Proficiency, please contact me for consultations at fergustrainer at gmail.com. That's F-E-R-G-U-S-T-R-A-I-N-E-R -E at gmail.com.